But at that moment, you leave your free will. You see the angel of death. You see the punishment. And because of that reason, Allah said, فَلَمَّا رَأَوْ بَأْسَنَا When they saw our punishment, so nothing to do after that moment. You do not have any will. فَلَمَّا رَأَوْ بَأْسَنَا But when they saw our punishment, قَالُوا They said, آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَحْدَهُ We believed in Allah. وَحْدَهُ Alone. Not just adding the others with Him. Alone. We believe in the only one God. Alone. No associate. No associator. No associate and no partner. He is the only one who is in control of all things. He is the only one who created everything. So we believe in Him alone. We worship Him alone. And we surrender Him alone. Amanna billahi wahdahu. So at that moment they denied what they used to associate before. They said, وَكَفَرْنَا And we denied بِمَا كُنَّا بِهِ مُشْرِكِينَ We denied what we used to associate with Him, with the only one God. We believe in Him alone and we deny what we were associating with Him, with only one God. From this ayah you can understand that those people the people of the past who lost their life and their hereafter they were believing in God they were believing in Almighty God but they were associating others with Him so they lost everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not accept that belief do not accept shirk because He says I am the one who created everything. I didn't take any help from anything in, in creation, the heavens and the earth. I didn't show them how I created the heavens and the earth. Actually, they weren't alive when I created the heavens and the earth. I created them just like created the heavens and the earth. I am the only one creator. How can you associate something like you? How can you associate some people or some things with me, says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those people returned from their fault as soon as they saw the punishment of Allah they said no one teaches them at that moment no one gives them brings to them any knowledge at that moment the knowledge brought to them in the life with the messengers and with the signs of Allah but at that moment as soon as they saw the punishment they said qalu amanna billahi wahda we believe we believed in only one God alone. So you can understand their psychology at that moment. They were knowing the truth and they were they were they were certain that they are in false way. And as soon as they saw the punishment, they returned automatically without any warning. They returned from that way and said, Amanna billahi wahda. So it shows you that they were certain about their falsehood by associating, associating others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They said, Amanna billahi wahda. They know exactly what's the false in their belief and what's the false in their way. آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَحْدَ So they returned from the false. آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَحْدَ وَكَفَرْنَا بِمَا كُنَّا And denied 
what they were claiming in their life. During their life, they were claiming that these idols or these people have some authority from Almighty God and they can help us, we should call upon them. They will make us nearer to the Creator. We just worshipping them in order to be closer to our Creator. Some theories brings the shirk. But at that moment, فَلَمَّا رَأَوْ بَأْسَنَا قَالُوا They said, آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَحْدَهِ We believed in Allah, in the only one God alone. وَكَفَرْنَا بِمَا كُنَّا بِهِ مُشْرِكِينَ And we denied what we used to associate with Him. So this is the end of the story. In this surah, in surah Ghafir, we saw them how they are they associate others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how did they deny the Creator and worshipping himself, uh, Him alone and how they were happy when they re were refusing the messengers and how they were struggling with the signs of the Creator أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ Remember the ayat in Surah Ghafir for example, the ayah number 69. And how did they mock at with the truth, with the message of the Creator? And how did they invite, invite the messenger to worship that idols or to worship the peoples like them? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him, قُلْ إِنِّي نُهِيتُ أَنَا عَبْدَ الَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ I am prohibited, I, ha I have forbidden to worship those whom you call upon min duni lahi, beside on the only one God. Wa umirtu an uslima li rabbil alameen. I am commanded to surrender to the creator of all things, to the Lord of all that exists. Remember their story and look what happens at the end. When they saw our punishment, they said, "Amanna billahi wahda." We believed in Allah alone, wa kafarna bima kunna bihi mushrikun, and we denied whatever we used to associate in our life. Let's move on to the ayah number eighty-five, and this is the last ayah in Surah Ghafir, and we will complete this surah inshallah today. Allah Azza wa Jal says, فَلَمْ يَكُوا يَنْفَعُهُمْ إِيمَانُهُمْ It would not benefit them, their belief at that moment. لَمَّا رَأَوْ بَأْسَنَا When they saw our punishment. It's understandable. Allah will not accept or Allah do not accept that Iman at that moment. When the person saw the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal. And when he saw that his life is come to an end, فَلَمْ يَكُوا يَنْفَعُهُمْ إِيمَانُهُمْ And I want to give you some uh, an idea about the phrase of this ayah. فَلَمْ يَكُوا يَنْفَعُهُمْ It was not that this Iman will uh, benefit them. So Allah Azza wa Jal do not say, I'm not accepting this Iman. He says, how it could benefit them this Iman. He gives us the logic in this issue. And when you read the ayah, you say, yes, it would not benefit them. It, it, it's impossible, it's not conceivable that this Iman uh, would benefit them. Because it's not Iman. Allah says they are today surrendered because they do not have free will at that moment. The angels came to them and says, Go out from these bodies. You will be punished today. You will be humiliated today. So they, they, they are out of this life at that moment. They are going out of this life at that moment. When they lose, they lost 
their free will, they will not be able to repent. And this is the ruling of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, uh, he, he deals with his servants in this way. Like this has been the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in dealing with his servants. No exception. Allah Azza wa Jal didn't accept the Iman of Fir'aun and didn't accept uh, the Iman of many people whom we know or we do not know at that moment. And Allah knows the best. We cannot know uh, whether the people in that moment or not. Of course, whenever we see any person, whether he is ill in his bed or not, we should share the truth with him. With him. We cannot say he, he, is, he is going to die. No need to convey the message to him. But Allah knows the best. best. He knows his servant uh, in the best way. So, if he is in that moment, if he did see the punishment of the Creator, then Allah will not accept his Iman. Sunnat Allahi allati qad khalat fi ibadih wa khasira hunalik al kafirun. And there, the disbelievers lost. This is the end of the story. The story of the disbelievers. They insisted on denying the truth. They were bent on denying the truth during their life. They mocked at with the truth despite their ears, their hearts and their eyes, despite the faculties which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted them. They were certain about the truth but despite that certainty, they refused, refused the truth. وَجَحَدُوا بِهَا وَاسْتَيْقَنَتْهَا أَنفُسُهُمْ ظُلْمًا مُعْلُوَّةً As they were unjust against the truth. And they lived with this psychology all their life. In their lifetime, they didn't accept the truth. They didn't repent to their Creator. And it's not unlimited period. At the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took their will from them and caused them to death. And at that moment, there is no way to come back. It's this loss is ultimate loss, and there the disbelievers lost utterly. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته